because in my previous job as a police officer, we were constantly working um, with people who were, because you don't end a relationship because it's abusive, and nor is it the police's place to expect people to end the relationship. That is down to the people in the relationship, the person who's a victim. And to be fair, leaving a relationship that's abusive is the most dangerous time for you as a victim anyway, mm -hmm. so it's a very risky thing. I think what I wanted to do was I wanted to prevent it happening in, happening in the first place mm -hmm. because I can see right at the beginning of a relationship like if you read the stories in the book the the abuse is there right at the beginning you do not get into a relationship that becomes abusive you get into a relationship with somebody who is going to abuse you right but you don't realize that because at the beginning you do not know what you're looking for So this, this behaviour might present itself as caring, but really think about that a little bit. Mm -hmm. Don't just go like booling in. And people get into relationships really quickly as well. They do, and I, I, don't, I don't agree with diving into relationships. I know I've talked with people before about everyone's got a fascination with when they break up with someone, they go, oh, they're a narcissist, and, and they throw these words around, and they don't really know what that means. Like... I've, I've talked to a lot of people who say, well, I can I know someone's a narcissist just by meeting them. And it's like, you don't. Because the whole point of a narcissist is you're not going to know yeah. straight away. That's why people, when you get into these abusive relationships and you and people go, oh, well, he was so nice. I can't believe you would do something like that. And it's like, yeah, because it's hidden. The whole point is you're not supposed to know that until six months down the line when you're stuck and it, you're in a horrible place. Exactly. People don't know it at the beginning. But on reflection, when it's finished, if they get out of it, they look back at it and go, oh, yeah, of course. And that's what I'm trying to teach people. I'm trying to teach them to see it at the beginning. Narcissists are very, very clever. Mm. And not all abusers are narcissists, but all no. narcissists are abusers, yeah. basically. In some but capacity, yeah. It's a thing. So if you're with somebody at the beginning of that relationship, it's just trying to make people mindful of that behavior. Because remember, a narcissist doesn't just manipulate and control their victim. They manipulate and control their victim's arena. So their friends, their family, their work colleagues, where they socialize. And this, people go, oh, that's a bit extreme. But that's actually a fact. And I can yeah. give you actual, if the woman give me permission, I, I would say, well, look at her, 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 her. This is what's happening to her. And this is happening now. And these, these can go on. I, I'm working with a lady who's been in that relationship, been divorced from them uh, 30 years later. And he's actually followed her to, to move to the next village to where she lives, goes into the pubs, the cafes, the restaurants um, where she is. Like, I live probably a 20-minute walk away from my ex-husband. We've been divorced nearly 20 years, and I think I've probably seen him in that time, out and about, four times. We mm. live in the same town. And that the reason for that is... He's not stalking me. Yeah. <laughs> he <laughs> lives there, but he's not, not like going, him. which Tesco's is really going to do today? Yeah. Exactly. But this lady sees her ex-husband practically every time she leaves the house. Wow. Can, this, it, can this, she move? Is that, have, she's is that moved. Have, yeah. She has moved away from, she's moved 80 miles away from where they were married and lived. And he's moved to be near there. Is, is it just, is it a case of he's, always just there or does he contact her or he, is it just a, a he he is just always there wow scary it but is? this is not an unusual story no people see their exes being the one of the reasons i did this is because i want to prevent people getting into that relationship because when you've come through an abusive relationship and that relationship ends and i put the word ends in inverted commas mm -hmm. it doesn't end because they will continue to abuse you. And I know so many women who are divorced. I know some men as well, but they're, they're divorced. And that abuse continues, especially and made easier if you have children together. Because mm. you kind of tied then a little bit. There's more of There's a There's always going to be a relationship between yeah. you because you have the, the, the connection of the children. Yeah. So stopping it in the first place is what I want to teach people. I want to teach people to see what the red flags look like. Mm. 
and people go, oh, God, she's extreme. I'm not extreme. This is real life. Yeah, there's, there's way more to human behavior than people think, 100%. Mm. 